Iteration Planning in Agile Development. In this tutorial, we'll learn about iteration planning in Agile. Now, what is iteration planning? Iteration planning is concerned with planning items for each iteration or sprint. So in Agile, you have short iterations known as sprint uh, in Scrum, and you plan the items that need to be developed or delivered within that particular sprint or iteration. In iteration planning, you define the iteration backlog. So iteration planning, you define what items need to be delivered in that particular iteration and define the iteration or sprint backlog. This iteration planning happens prior to start of each sprint or iteration. Now, prior to each sprint and iteration, the iteration planning is going to happen wherein you will pick the items or the user stories that you are going to plan and deliver in that particular sprint. Who is involved in the iteration planning? Scrum Master facilitates the meeting. Product Owner is involved. The whole development team is involved in this planning and other stakeholders if required like subject matter experts, relevant members from other teams are also involved if required. But by default, Scrum Master, Product Owner and Development Team is always um, involved and if required, you invite other members from other team as well. Now, activities in iteration planning are the team selects the user story from the release backlog. So we have a release backlog and a product owner prioritizes the release backlog and he prioritizes the user story that need to be picked up in the priority uh, of development. So from that release backlog, you pick the user story uh, and then that user story is elaborated and uh, in elaborated in this iteration planning so the team understands what the story details are and if there are any doubts those are clarified within that particular iteration planning and those those doubts are clarified from product owner from the business analyst who are participating in that iteration planning meeting then the estimation of that user story is done then the user story is broken down into smaller tasks and subtasks and assigned to the respective team members who are, is going to work on those particular tasks for the implementation. So these are some of the activities that happen in the iteration planning. Then what are the, uh, what is the tester's involvement in iteration planning? So tester uh, testers involvement is very important because testers estimate testing efforts for the stories and provide the uh, the input around the testing effort that is going to be required to test those particular user stories in the iteration or sprint then testers participate in detailed risk analysis of the stories and uh, they also identify functional and non-functional aspects that need to be tested so Depending on what stories are being picked up in iteration or sprint, testers come up with the functional and non-functional aspects of testing required for that particular story. And testers also identify the story acceptance tests uh, based on the acceptance criteria defined in the user story. And if there is any gap uh, in the acceptance criteria or uh, th there are some doubts for the acceptance testing or uh, meeting the acceptance criteria, testers clarify and provide their inputs in iteration planning meeting. Then testers also plan the automation strategy and the way and the levels of testing they are going to do for that particular user story and communicate it within the whole team so that everyone is aware of the level of testing to be done and what coverage uh, is uh, going to be there for those particular stories and the end result and the quality um, of the end product after that particular story is being finished development and testing. So these are some of the key, uh, te key uh, points or uh, the testers involvement in iteration planning. Thank you.